In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to actually use your voice board environment. So you would remember that we've um, created, in the last tutorial, we created, created a new voice board environment called School of Education Test. So I'm going to click on that once, and this will open up uh, voice board for me. Because I've gone in under the Teach tab, I actually have a few more um, uh, options that I can use at the top here. As a student, uh, they, they usually don't have the option to delete um, or import or export. So in order to create a, a new voice board, and you'll remember that this is um, an audio version of um, an online discussion forum, you click on New and you put in a subject. And then you simply click on the record button and you talk. And once again as you talk you can see that the audio bars are going up and down to show that it's registering my voice and the time is ticking down as well. So this is set at 20 minutes as the, the maximum amount of time that um, a student can talk and it goes down from there. You also have the possibility to add text to this. And that means that not only can you um, have the students capture their their voice and capture the, um, their comments, but you can also make sure that you're, you're able to see what they're writing as well. So if you want to be checking references or anything like that, this is a really good way of doing it. Once you've finished, you press the stop button, and then you click post. And what happens here is that um, an audio message has been, has been posted. So um, depending on on who has access to this, this particular Wimber environment. It could either be the whole cohort, or it could be an individual student, or it could be, a, could be a group. In order to play this message back, you simply click on the message so you highlight it, and then underneath you can click on the play button um, just above the text box. And you'll notice as well that the text is included there too. So that's posting a message, and if you wanted to reply to that message, you simply keep the, the message highlighted and you click on reply. You're able to change um, the subject, you're able to add more text, and you're able to add um, another audio comment. So if I was to add that audio comment now, and once that's done, I would then um, press stop again. So I'm recording a short message now to show you how to reply to a, a Wimber voice board. Press post, and you'll see that it comes up in chronological order. You don't have to reply. You can create a whole new um, message, so that's a whole like a whole new thread in an online discussion forum. And if needs be, you can have a whole new um, subject line in it as well. Once um, these conversations are over, you also do have the chance to export the files as well. So if students wanted to keep what they had been recording for you, you can export them, and of course, you, you can then go through the process of actually converting that into a podcast. Um, so the, the Wimber functionality within, within Blackboard uh, and within our learning management system is actually quite powerful and offers a huge scope um, in terms of different ways of students delivering um, th their learning.